Welcome everyone, I'm Layman from Milgard Windows and Doors. Today, we're in our training facility to demonstrate how to install the VX350 moving glass wall with the stacking door operating style. This video is intended to show the common steps required to install the VX350, but please note that every install is unique and may require different or additional steps not shown in this video. As I mentioned, we are in our training facility, so there may be some steps missing if you are installing this in a home that leads to an exterior space. We'd also like to note that this video is not intended for the do-it-yourselfer. Installing the VX350 moving glass wall requires a team of professional installers. Now let's get started. Begin by unpacking the frame components. Each door will have a head track, threshold track, a locking jam, and a fixed jam assembly. Refer to the shop drawing supplied and inspect the rough opening carefully to ensure that it has been prepared correctly to accept the configuration and size you are installing. Ensure the header is plumb to the sill. If the floor condition is wood, it must be protected with an appropriate flashing or waterproofing material prior to door frame installation. Check the floor to see that it is flat and level. If the floor varies more than 1 16th of an inch per foot, or a total of a quarter of an inch over the entire width of the opening, it must be corrected before proceeding with the installation. Apply flashing to the opening at the sill, followed by the jams. Next, we will prepare the frame for installation. Apply a light coat of silicone at the frame corners and connect using number eight one inch screws. Apply half inch wide by half inch high bead of sealant on the floor from jam to jam. Applying six inches up the jam and from the inside corners across the end to the outside edge of where the threshold will be. Make sure to inspect the ceiling carefully to ensure a complete water barrier has been accomplished across the full width of the opening. Then add lines of ceiling from the inside bead straight out as shown. Now we will install the frame. Tilt the door frame into the rough opening, setting the sill first. Shim the sill as needed to level, but they should be no more than six inches apart. In our case, the floor is level and no shims are necessary. If your frame has a nailing fin attached, secure it to the opening using the supplied hardware. Shim the head plumb and anchor using number 10 2 inch screws located 6 inches from each corner and 12 inches on center. Apply shimming to all the anchor points. When anchoring through the jams, be certain to offset the screw locations so that it lines up with the indentation line in the jam. This will eliminate any interference with the middle leg of the jam cover when applying it later in the process. Once anchoring is finished, walk on the track the full length to settle the sealant. We will then cross tape the frame corner to ensure it is square. Apply self-adhesive corners to the main frame to cover the gap. Then apply sealant around the edges and tool the sealant flat. Next, we will apply flash into the door head after the frame has been secured to the opening. Now we are ready to install the door tracks into the frame. The longest track for the lead panel will go in the interior track slot, followed by the shorter track in the center slot. For the fixed panel, install the two retainers in the exterior slot. This will help support the fixed panel when in the proper position. Organize your panels in the same order they will be installed. Each panel will be marked with the unit number and a panel letter indicating position, either pocket, intermediate, or lead. Locate the lead panel. This is the active panel that contains the lock mechanism. Lean the top of the panel and insert it into the head track that lines up with the lock jam and lower it onto the threshold. Pull off the roller adjustment plugs and lift the panel so there is no weight on it. Using a number two Phillips screwdriver, Adjust the panel high enough to gain access to the bottom of the rails. 
Thoroughly clean the rails and then apply two of the supplied adhesive back panels, or bunny tails, to the bottom of the rail. After application, adjust the panels to initial height of approximately half inch from the top track. Make sure you have a nice even reveal the entire length of the panel. We will follow the same steps to install the intermediate panel. Once installed, make any necessary adjustments to the rollers for a smooth operation. To install the fixed panel, we will repeat the same steps, ensuring the panels overlap as the interlock styles cannot bypass each other. Using your foot, push the fixed panel securely into the jam. Now we are ready to install the lock strike. Measure the center of the lock from the bottom of the frame and scribe this height onto the frame to get a correct strike location. Once you have your strike location, drill some pilot holes first, then attach the strike using number 10 2 half inch screws. Now you're ready to install the locking mechanism and door handle using the supplied hardware. Once the handle is installed, close and lock the door. On the fixed panel, you will find three anchoring tabs to hold the panel in place. Mark where the tabs will line up on the frame. Make sure the panel is fully in the closed position and drill pilot holes. Make sure you only drill through two layers. Once your holes are made, you can install the screws, anchoring the fixed panel to the frame. We are now going to install the foam blocks for the intermediate and fixed panels. Use a dot of silicone to hold the blocks in place. Place the foam blocks in the frame where the fixed and intermediate panels meet the head. Now install the supplied plastic clips to anchor down the door tracks on the locking jam side of the frame. Using a rubber mallet and plastic block, Tap the aluminum jam covers into place. Repeat the process with the sill covers. Then you can install the jam covers on the fixed jam. And finally, install the retaining clips on the door track of the fixed jam side. And the installation of your VX350 moving glass wall is complete.